So this is what happened, uh, as you can see, the idea. So I have one son, he's five year uh, because of COVID, school, schools were closed. He's, he used to go to the daycare, now he's not going. So every day he was surprising, uh, running through the, the iPad, app store, searching for new app, and trying to get every new app. And the challenge with those app, uh, and nothing uh, against those, you get it and then you need to keep start paying to get more to get more and and they they're not automatically going to enhance as you want so so it gave me an idea that why why shouldn't i create an app for him that actually i can control and i can give him a uh, very nice uh, different features and functionality as as move on so that's what i picked power app and again uh, my background is developer so i was thinking that i should be building an app then why not power app because number one it's quick it's simple and as I'm saying, if, if your client is five years old waiting for it, you can't just say it's going to take many days or weeks. It should be turned around within hours or, or he's going to lose lost interest in your app or whatever you're doing. So that's why I picked the Power App. And uh, as we all know kids, they're never going to satisfy with one thing. So the app that I build actually a combination of three apps. It's not just one app, it's a three apps combination. So it's a combo of three so he can and, and, and there's a logic behind those three apps. And as you can see, there is a math. So that's the education part of it. Then I have the puzzle. There's actually more cognitive uh, knowledge. So you can play around that, click through. So his, his cognitive skills grow. And then I have this explorer because he loves uh, space. He loves astronaut. He loves uh, uh, all these uh, space things. So I created this explorer so he can click on different uh, planets that we have, just read about it and see how they, uh, how what they had. And he actually surprised knowing that some client has more than one moon because he was thinking there's only one moon exists overall. So by saying that, and then a little bit of uh, the Heroes app, uh, as we all know, uh, I'm, I'm hardly thinking of creating any power app without using collection and gallery. So they're always gonna be there if you're building an app because they, they create, they make the app possible. I also have introduced a component. Uh, it's nothing great, uh, nothing really, uh, complex component, but just a component to give a thought of uh, we can use component. And then I'm also using a 3D uh, model there for the space of the planets. By saying that, let me share my screen. So I, I love how your slide says, <laughs> get the app up and running and know I am very important if the client is five-year-old waiting for it. <laughs> now I know what you meant by the five-year-old client. Yeah. <laughs> Now, did you deliver his project on time? I did. Oh, that's good. And <laughs> I did, and I have now. I have five uh, kids in my family across the globe actually using it, and they are happy. And me and Power App is up to the mark, so I'm I'm impressed. <laughs> they are using it, so this is like uh, it get uh, it's a trend in my family. So this is the Power App that you guys are seeing here. Uh, as I can, as I as I. Uh, uh, Told in the beginning, it's a combination of three app. So we have the math app that allow uh, kids to actually do the basic arithmetic operations. That is the add sign minus uh, multiplication and division. Then we have a puzzle uh, where I actually I pick a pick a pick a cartoon. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard about it, the Paw Paw Patrol. I think you guys heard about it because it was famous for the COVID regions. So that's his favorite. So I picked that for puzzle. And then we have the Meet the Planet where you can actually explore our uh, solar system. Did you do all the images and graphics for this too? Yeah, some of this I Google, but some of them like these I created uh, from the scratch using the 3D, yeah, the, the paint 3D model. So in the math, uh, if I click on plus, it will take me to a screen where you have this big grid with lots of different numbers. And then it's asking a question about eight plus four is what? If I say 13, it's wrong because I don't know math. The answer is 12. And uh, this was his requirement, what you are seeing on the right hand side. He wanted to have a cartoon character there, the Mickey Mouse, and then a coin on each of right answer that he select. So the, so the, the challenge here to collect all the coins. And then uh, we can keep going, answering these questions. And, they, and then you will keep getting the, the coins uh, as you move forward. Now, you can, if you answer the wrong, there is a message, try again. 
you can restart, it will suffer this, uh, these combination, as you can see, it keeps suffering. So it will never uh, repeat itself. I have a little music here too. If someone, some kids like to have a music in the background to, to play with. Cool. Then, then similarly, I have uh, the minus, so four minus two is two, I mean, say it is, and, and again, this is very basic for us math, but for kids, this is really uh, helpful when they are not going to school and they want to learn uh, these arithmetic operations, especially for the toddler and, and, and the kindergarten kids. And then we have the multiplication. So here you also, you can do the basic concept is very similar and, and the division. So this was a little trickier because I need, I need to make sure that I'm not going to the decimal uh, division point. So that's what it is. So that was the math app. Then we have this puzzle app. And what this puzzle app is actually doing, as you can see here, this is the Paw Patrol. Uh, you need to click and then and click on the location that you want to move that image to. This is what finally we need to get, and I can try to do this quickly. So, so see if I can make it fast. I actually did it in 20 seconds, seconds uh, one time because I know I'm, I did it so many times. So I know what goes where. So as you can see here, so this is how you can complete the puzzle. You can suffer and keep suffering and, and com, com, uh, coming, up, coming up with different combination. And there's an expert mode that actually more smaller chunk of images that you need to do. So if you want to go a little bit more in, in the cognitive, you can actually try to solve that. Can you take your own picture with the app or the device and, uh, and scramble it up and solve it? Uh, so scrambling is not part of the power app yet. I tried, but there's not really uh, we have that functionality yet. So I, I scramble these app using an online tool, yeah. and then I but I can change this image and put any image there. Uh, if I have this six y six or four y four combination of those images, and right. then we have meet the planet. So this is our solar system. All the planets are listed here: Sun, Earth, Mars. And if I click on that, it actually take me to another screen that allow me to play around with 3D. And this is also really cool. They like it, they move around it. And good information about the planet. As you can see, this is the this is our Earth, what we have here. And I didn't know that we have the, the hours is actually 23.9, 24. This is something I learned using this. And like this, if you click on the Mars, it will open up the Mars information and you can see this. So this was the app uh, or the apps, I would say, from the back, background point of view. So I have these different screens. And again, I, I, there are some, of course, I could have made these as one screen, but because I want to do it so quick and I want to make sure that I'm making them disconnected. So if I need to take it out and create a separate app, I can do it quickly. So I do this uh, different screens on the app. There are some collections, and there are not some, there are many collections because there's, you can see there are three apps running around. So I have a few collections for, this is for the puzzles that I'm collecting all the images. For the math, I'm having, I'm having two uh, main collections where we have, I have the random numbers in different orders here. So one is starting from one, and another starting from 10. And I'm, I'm gonna use these two collections to actually calculate all my uh, math operations that is add, multiplying others. And if I really go to the add screen, the key part here is this one. So this is where I am actually, I have few few variables defined that actually telling me my my first add number from that collection. And also the second add, and I'm putting this, uh, this question here. And then there's another one that is result. So result is always here and it matches to one of one of these information that you're seeing here. It's just when you click on that, it matches with the result. And if it's correct, the answer is correct. And that's how it's working. And on the grid, this is where on click, this is where I'm actually creating all that, uh, the logic behind the, behind the, behind the, behind the correct answer. So as you can see here, this is the, this is the main part from where I'm actually uh, querying my the grid collection, trying to get which one has not been answered and getting the first one. And then that, that, that add collection is actually giving me the final one item collection that 
free that 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 give me the push. So I'll get the first ad, second ad, and the answer. And this is how I can manage the the total. Answer. This concept is very much applied to all the screens. And I'm using this uh, collection for the points. So as you as you see, whenever whenever I'm giving the right answer, the points is getting collected. So that's the component that I created that actually allow me to uh, pass on the coins. So that's where the collection parts come into the picture. I won't cover other screens because of the time limit. Then we have the puzzle app. And as I, as I said, this is very, very simple. There's nothing happening, nothing crazy going on here. It's just on click of any of these items, I'm taking this item uh, collections information. And if I'm clicking on the another one, I'm replacing the image with that. So it's just the patching of the collection. So this entire logic is patch on a collection and this is how it works uh, similarly for the for the hard one the same concept this is just uh, making the, the puzzle patch on the on the collection that i that is assigned to this particular gallery for the space this one is pretty much straight, straightforward images coming from the different uh, for the different planet and then for the 3d we have this 3D view in 3D model, where I actually I stored my all of my 3D model in the GitHub from where I'm reading it, and based on the click event from the previous screen, I'm showing that particular 3D image for that plan, and then you can play around. And all of this information is coming from a collection that has been initiated at the beginning of the app load. So this is it, and. This app is available in uh, in KidZone, so if you want to download, you have a link there. Easily you can download there, play around. Let me know if your kid likes it and if they have more things to do, and you can actually make it. And I kept it very simple. I have I, I purposefully don't try to use something that is complex in Power App, so that uh, anyone or someone who is really new in Power App can actually understand and make changes to it. So that was my whole purpose of making it very straightforward, uh, linear approach. This app has so much to learn from. Like you said, three apps in one. Very clever. I have a theory on how you determine when someone put the puzzle together right, but you know what? I think instead of asking you, I'm going to go try to figure it out myself and learn more about your app. And, and from the time in point of view, so I did this over the weekend. So on the Saturday, in the Friday night, he came. this idea came up, and then uh, I just told my wife that just give me this Saturday. I'm not going to, don't talk to me. I need to build an app for him. And then it's turned out to be a good app, I seems. There are some research went actually, and this is my personal experience. Most of the time in the Power App, the, the maximum time that we spend finding this good branding. The logic, once you get it, you can do it very quick. Like for example, finding these images so it looks good. That's where maybe, uh, uh, Personally, I'm spending more time rather actually writing the code behind that actually running this. And maybe this is because I'm not great in UI, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But this is what I, I feel after working on, on, on Power Power Apps, maybe. I feel the same way. I, I don't feel <laughs> the code slows me down. It's how do I make it look good? <laughs> That's for sure. That's awesome. That's it from my side. And, and thank you all for, for liking it. Hopefully this will, the, the important is more to give this to the kids so they can actually use it, just not for play, but to learn. That's the whole purpose. This is for learning because uh, kindergarten is not happening. So kids are not learning, daycares are closed and I want them to learn. So hopefully it will happen. And thank you very much. That's awesome. Thanks again for sharing it. One question there is in the chat for you that comes from Brian. I think he was referring to your component that displayed the coins. And yeah. I, I think Brian said, so that is for simply used for output, that component. You just pass in how many coins to it, I imagine, and it pops yes. up. Right, right. That's true. And actually, so as you can see, I'm using this four screen approach. And if I if I very all the all all the screens have the same concept like they have a gallery back restart uh, Mickey Mouse so they are pretty much similar and if I have to add this coin uh, collections uh, or, the, or the or the gallery on each of the screen I need to repeat it so rather having as a component and that's just a, a concept I can even have the con component for this gallery too that's showing actually these numbers and these all four screens can become one screen 
from the usability point of view. So yeah, this was a concept to just showcase that you can actually use collections. And if you want, you can have this whole screen as a collection and use it and just pass on your, your final grade. Very cool. Thanks for the tour and coming on to show us this app. Another really cool one. Lots of people really like this one too.